All right, so before we jump right in, I am having a little glass of wine to celebrate the most insane fact, which is that I was featured in a Wall Street Journal article last month, okay? And surprise, surprise, it was all about me feeling like buying luxury items are absolutely worth it, what it means to me to have certain pieces in my collection, and how I feel when I carry them around. So before we talk, about why you shouldn't be paying full price for designer. I just need to take a moment to be excited and celebrate myself because I do it very rarely. And this was one of those things that made me feel like way to go, sister girl. You are killing it. <sighs> Sip of wine. All right, off we go. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name's Olivia and here we talk all things luxury and lifestyle. And today I am back to talk about one of my all time favorite topics. And that is why you shouldn't be paying full prices for luxury designer. Okay. I don't care if you have all the money in the world, if you're making your 1 millionth purchase or your third purchase, being able to get a deal and have the highest quality luxury items out there is just worth it to me. So I figured what better than to share what I know with each of you over a glass of wine, talking through the three things you need to know. So if you like this kind of content, I hope you'll consider liking, subscribing, and just becoming a part of this community. I love having these sorts of conversations with you all. You leave the best comments. And so if your three are better than my three, let the people know down below. All right, so let's jump right in with my first tip, which is just plan your purchases ahead of time. And this will save you thousands of dollars, okay? This will save you thousands of dollars. This will save you thousands of dollars. Okay, to me, it is just an integral piece of being a savvy shopper, all right? We all know many luxury designer brands are truly worth the price, they simply are. But that doesn't mean that we wanna pay those prices, right? I am the sort of person who loves luxury. I just love it, I love it. I love for everything. I love for my coffees in the morning to be luxurious, okay? I love for the car wash to be luxurious. Anything that is high quality, experiential, I just love it. And I love it, but I don't always love the prices even when they are fair for what you are getting. And so what I've found is that when I plan my purchases ahead of time, it's, it's a marriage of the most perfect things, right? It's me being able to get these pieces that I love, these experiences that I love, whatever it is. And I'm also able to just pay a friendly, much more comfortable price for my current state in life, you know? Some things, again, are worth it, but that doesn't mean I wanna pay it. One of the hottest takes that I have in this arena is this, okay? I felt like women in STEM, baby genius when I figured this out, okay? If you are subscribed to the emails for your favorite clothing companies, shoe companies, whatever it is, if you comb through your email from the prior year, you can get a pretty good estimation for when they will have sales the following year. Okay. You see something right now, for example, in April, you might just know that your favorite retailer is having a Memorial Day sale or a Mother's Day sale. It is, when I tell you, when I figured this out, it was giving. <sighs> it's hard to be a luxury shopping princess out. Like it really is hard. I literally thought my noggin was working overtime. It was like one of those performance enhancing things where they're like, humans only use 10% of their brain. I was like, baby, I'm working with 29% today. Like I just thought it was the most genius thing and it has proven to be, honestly. It allows me so easily to plan my purchases, to know, to set budgets first of all, to know when throughout the year I wanna buy things, it has just absolutely changed the game for me. I think if you take this advice, it could change the game for you. And if you've already been doing this, if you've looked through your emails, if you know exactly when the sales are, if you wait to buy your favorite items, let us know your other good tricks, okay? I'm not the only shopping maven who's here today, all right? Let us know because I kid you not when I say, my favorite thing on earth is getting a deal. Like it's so bad that it's almost like if it's full price, I probably don't really want it. Like what is, if it's full, 
this is where we are and this is why I'm sharing the knowledge, okay? Because it's either a harmful thing for my personal life or it's a helpful thing to all of yours, okay? All right, tip number two is pre-loved market, pre-loved market, pre-loved market, okay? I heard something recently and someone said in no uncertain terms, there are enough things in this world. We do not need to continue to create and consume more. We just don't, okay? And as much as I love creativity and ingenuity and all of those things, it really, really resonated with me, okay? The idea that it really doesn't make a difference to me if I go into the store and I have a glass of champagne and I get pampered, or I do it at home, right? If I sit at home and have a glass of kava and I order something online or I unbox a package, to me, it feels all the same. And if you haven't had those sorts of experiences in the store, I absolutely think that you should. I actually encourage you to. I think it is a wonderful part of being a luxury shopper is experiencing those moments, all of the little surprises and delights that make shopping in person in luxury stores a really delightful moment. But I also think I can be quite delighted by the idea of saving money on a purchase, um, positively impacting the environment, the earth that we live on, okay? I heard something like 80% of landfills are filled with clothes, with luxury goods, sneakers, you know, shoes, just apparel, apparel and, and that stat really freaked me out. And so ever since, I've just really been leaning into this idea of, I don't need to be the first person who had something. I don't, I can extend the life of an item through myself and I just think that's cool, okay? It's a little it's a little esoteric, it's a little out there, I know, but I really, really, really like that thought. And I'm a big proponent of the pre-love market, like I just am. I found so many exceptional vintage ready-to-wear pieces lately, which by the way, if you would like a vintage ready-to-wear haul video, please let me know, okay? That would be so fun to film and it is something I've been so passionate about lately. But say it all to say, like I've fallen into vintage ready to wear. I love finding an old Chanel bag. Um, to be fair, I don't like the, the deflated look. I know so many people love that. I just like to find an old Chanel bag as in a special colorway a bag that they only did one time. I think that is just the coolest thing. So I've been really invigorated around the pre-love market lately. I've been really, really, really enjoying it. And one of the most positive, most exciting, most alluring things about the pre-love market for me has been that I'm not paying full price for the same pieces that I know and love. It is so Olivia approved. I will leave links to some of my favorite places down below. And let me tell you, just give it a try. If you don't love it, if it gives you the ick to wear old things or have old things, I understand. But I will just encourage you to give it a try and see if it doesn't grow on you, see if you don't find yourself saving hundreds if not thousands of dollars. And if you do, let me know how it goes, what your thoughts are. And my last tip, this is not groundbreaking information, but it just has to be said. If you live in the US and you're buying European goods, you are not going to get the best price in the US, okay? But I also understand that we're not all fortunate enough to be in Paris one weekend, in Italy the next, in Spain the third. I understand that we can't always just up and fly. And by the time we pay for a flight, we've negated the savings that we would have made buying a piece there versus here. I get all of that. And so if you can travel, amazing, please do it. I love to make a wine adventure and a shopping trip out of every vacation destination I go to. But I've also found so many ways to pay European prices, if not a whole lot closer to European prices in the US. And so there are a lot of websites that I personally trust, use. Um, I have friends, family who do the same and they have saved so much money on just things that again, even if they are worth the price, I would much prefer to pay the cut rate price, okay? So think of websites like Italist. Think of websites like Satire or Satire. I don't know how to pronounce that. I do know how to shop on that, okay? Both of these sites are really similar concept. They're just another place to go on the internet to buy luxury goods, you know, Italian brands, French brands, whatever it is, for a much lower price. So. 
I hope if you have not tried these websites, you do give them a try. I hope if maybe you were just waiting for someone to encourage you that it's safe to do so, I can be that person. I really have never run into any trouble with either of them. Um, and I haven't tried to return or exchange or any of the more, you know, complicated aspects of online shopping. But what I can confirm to you is that the pieces that I've gotten are absolutely authentic. They're absolutely authentic. And they've just given me that feeling of I'm able to get the things that I want. And I'm also able to do it in a way that is so friendly and so comfortable keeps me just dressed to the nines. Okay, just absolutely dripping. But for prices that make me feel like, and great, now I can afford all the vacations and all the wines and whatever. I just love understanding the different ways to save, the different ways to think about shopping, the different places to go to do it. And so I will continue to evangelize this message. So say it all to say, it doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter what your budget is. If you can save money, it's always a good idea. Okay, in this economy, it's always a good idea. And I hope that some of the tips in this video just might help you do that. As always, thank you, thank you for watching this far. If you've enjoyed this video, I hope you'll give it a like, a comment, and subscribe to this community. We are so much fun. And if you're not done watching, I'll leave two videos on the screen and I'll see you next time. Bye.